What's up guys, it's Dull Matter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another Big Bungie video. Now this one is interesting, this is something I'm sort of familiar with, I kind of know some of the details around it, um, but I'm not, I've never done like a real deep dive on it. Uh, this is, did Amaranth fake the abuse? So from my, I admit, very surface level understanding, uh, she was claiming to be abused by her husband, um, got a bunch of money out of it, and then still stayed with him and then just kind of pretended like nothing ever happened. Now, there's two ways to look at that. One could be that, you know, she stayed in an abusive relationship. Uh, and the other is that, I mean, she's a very intelligent businesswoman. She might have just faked it to make money. Who knows? But anyway, I'm sure he'll go far more into details, some that I'm probably not aware of. So link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. Offensive here. I'm going out my way to be inoffensive, but this fucking bitch whore Amaranth faked the whole goddamn thing. Here's a quick refresher for you. On the 16th of October, popular slut Amaranth mm. fires up a Twitch stream where she claims that she's been married for multiple years and her husband is abusing her. She shows a bunch of messages of him threatening her, telling her he's going to take all her money, saying he was going to kill her dogs. Guy sounds like a real legend to be honest here. He was on <laughs> her bank accounts and her social media scheduling. She also says he forced her to do OnlyFans. Naturally, all the other Twitch streamers and YouTubers just believe this ridiculous act. Oh, yeah, I remember that thing about, like, forcing her to do OnlyFans, and then there was a whole thing about her still doing it, at, like, after and, like, posting, like, the next day or something. Accusation, regardless of unimportant things like evidence or anything. What evidence do you need? A woman cried. God forbid a woman cries. A false accusation against a non-famous person? It's impossible. Honestly, it's revolting how many drama channels acted like this was 100% true. It's revolting. I mean, the evidence was some texts and a phone call. I don't know who this guy on the phone is. It's nice to know that I could fool the entire commentary community with some fake texts and a fucking phone call. Oh, oh my god, guys. It, it's the real Five Nights at Freddy's on the line. And Nick Dior would be like... Well, he's got the texts on his phone from a guy claiming to be the real Five Nights at Freddy's. Clearly, yeah. Five Nights at Freddy's is true. I can literally see the Jaden video. I feel terrible for Freddy Fazbear. The Freddy Fazbear situation is messed up. And that's about it for the tweets about Amaranth. Despite what Pokemon said just there, I think the overwhelming majority of content creators, both male and female, are in support of Amaranth, with a couple of shitheads in the mix either being- I was supposed to take her word of face value, the woman who whose whole career was based on lying to her fan base to make as much profit as humanly possible. What's the his side of the story? Due process, people. I love how due process is now like a controversial take. Skeptical, critical, or insensitive about the situation. Look how Bolux frames this. Every single person who blindly believes Amaranth is a good person. Anybody who even slightly questions it, shithead. Yeah. Terrible person. Don't be fooled. This guy is colluding with Pokemon. I guarantee you he was paid by Pokemon to make this video. Now, the first thing that was suspicious in my mind was this husband character. I'm supposed to believe this guy is such an alpha Chad that he abuses his wife, but at the same time is such a beta cuck that his wife has an OnlyFans? That makes no sense. <laughs> Even the parts of her story, there are things that seem really suspicious. Like, for instance, the phone call. This guy is supposed to be her secret manager, so surely he'd know that she was streaming during the phone call. There's even a part in this call where he specifically asks her what she's doing. What are you doing? Just fucking tweet it if you're gonna tweet it. So, he obviously didn't have much insight into a business, did he? And then there's the messages. In these messages, he makes a series of ridiculous threats. Like he was gonna take a million dollars and give it to an animal sanctuary. Really? Can he just fucking do that? Is there really nothing you can do to prevent that? And just look at these messages. Now, the average person looks at this and sees nothing, but I'm not the average person. I'm a super genius. It's the <laughs> future behind my divine good looks and humility. The messages aren't even messages. They're screenshots of messages. She's on the phone. She has all the messages in the iMessage app. Why doesn't she just go to the app and show the messages? Why does she show them in screenshot form? What was he going to do? Fucking delete them? Let's think about the context here. She's exposed her abusive husband. He's a madman. He's already... <laughs> threatened to kill her dogs. He's already smashed one of the doors down. She's in an emotional state. So she goes into her phone and slowly screenshots pages of messages. No, that doesn't make any sense. That makes no sense. The only logical reason I can think of for why she'd screenshot them instead of just showing the raw messages is if she was going to release them on Twitter or whatever. But she never did. So why? Also, the name of the person sending the, the messages is Sherry. Her husband's name is Nick. Why is he listed as Sherry in her contacts? Notoriously a woman's name. On the 17th, <laughs> all these other horror stories start coming out. Specifically, that she barricaded herself in a room and called the police on him. So he kicked the door down and stopped the call. None of that makes any sense. She's on the phone. She's called the police. 
police. The husband kicks in the door and turns the phone off. Presumably some form of struggle. And from yeah, the thing, if you call the police even accidentally, they'll send somebody else to do uh, out to do a wellness check just to make sure. I'm assuming, like, I, I know that's how it works in Canada. I think she's American. I would assume it's the same thing in, in the States, right? If you accidentally dial 911 and then you're like, oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to call you guys. They'll send somebody out just to make sure that, like, it's not a situation like that where somebody else hung up the phone. From the police, there's just no concern. Didn't give a shit. She's been in contact with those same officers, too, because of the stalker stuff earlier in the year. So let's set the scene here. The police have been called. 911, what's your emergency? Police, help me. Come on, you shit stupid <laughs> 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 Uh, now bear in mind, this is a white woman we're talking about here. A rich white woman. On the 18th of October, Amaranth made a stream where she claimed that she'd split up from her husband, gained full control over her bank and social media accounts, and that she was pursuing legal action. Yeah, October 18th. Literally two days after the allegations came out. Now if after hearing that you still believe the public narrative around this, I would argue that you are borderline mentally retarded. Now in my mind there are only two options. Either one, she set this whole thing in advance and orchestrate this live stream and phone call to trap the husband and make the divorce settlement easier. Or two, the whole thing is fake. Even based on a simple Google search, you can instantly find that it takes a minimum of five days to gain sole ownership of a joint account. And that's assuming you had the other person's consent. Obviously Amaran thought about the consent issue to some extent, because she says that the dude voluntarily put himself on a therapy because he heard himself on stream. And I think that when he heard himself on that call, it really sunk in how much of an asshole he is. That's what made him question himself. Not the time where he fucking spin back kicked the fucking door down to get his oh, wife's no! phone off of her. He yeah. was cool. But when he heard himself on that phone call, he thought, wow. I'm a real piece of shit. Despite saying that it was her husband that forced her to do OnlyFans, tea streaming, sex work in general, a few months on from this and she still continues to do all the same stuff yeah. that she was doing a year ago. Amaran first responded by claiming she streamed more Overwatch than Hot Tub, uh, only if you look at her stream history, you can clearly see she's still streaming Hot Tub content like every day, even though it was apparently her husband who forced her to do it. She has one day where she gains no followers, only loses, and after that one day, she streams Hot Tub content for like a straight month. On top of continuing to do the exact same stuff that she was apparently being forced to do her only fans has seemingly become more explicit she now has a dude actually banging her on only fans all i'm saying is she got that dude in real fucking quick after the divorce she gets divorced and within the week she's got a new guy in the house fucking her this is my final theory i think this whole situation was engineered to get amaranth's husband onto a live stream looking like a lunatic so she could have an easier time in magistrate's court and as an added bonus now the me. simps are like not only is she single but she's just come out of an abusive relationship i'm gonna be the hero that slips in. Get real. Get real. She's not gonna get with you. Man, if he did force her to d start doing the OnlyFans, that is the funniest fucking thing ever. Dude forces her to do OnlyFans and then gets cucked. She literally makes him look like a psycho, which, I mean, to be fair, he kind of, if, if, if that's real, he did get fucking baited hard and, like, he fucked up. But, like, the, uh, you know, she's getting fucking blasted on the OnlyFans that you made her do by, a, like, the next week by another guy. That is fucking hilarious. You, you gotta be a bare minimum black. I think the texts were fake. I think the story of him drop kicking a door down to get a phone off of her when she was talking to the police obviously didn't fucking happen. I don't think he was forcing her to do OnlyFans or stream or anything. Amaranth has on multiple occasions bragged about how much money she makes through sex work. Would she really be doing that if she was a sex traffic victim? She's like, my husband beats the shit out of me and pays me $200 monthly to spread my pussy. I'm living the dream. You work in retail. Loser! I also think she was fucking another man, but uh, that, that, that goes without saying. The thing that grinds right, that's my pretty obvious. Is the fact, it, 100%, the fact that she had him on stream a week, or on uh, OnlyFans a week later. If, if not, she if she wasn't cheating, she was setting up to cheat. People who say that she has setting... nothing to gain and everything to lose. No, no, she's a Twitch streamer. She has nothing to lose. Twitch streamers can literally get away with anything. You know why? Because they spend eight plus hours a day brainwashing their audience. Miss Kiff was literally covering up a sexual assault three months ago, and now all his fans say it was fake. Like, like what the fuck? Like, there's literally a video of him admitting it. I maintain to this day that Hassan Piker could go into a school with a gun, kill a series of children. You could have a full recording of this event, and just show it to his audience, and they would respond, whoa, 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 whoa. 
<laughs> context. If this is actually fake, her audience isn't going to care. You don't exactly watch Amaran for her wit and intellect. You watch her for her cracking tits. Do not believe a woman on the internet just because she cries on live stream. All these female Twitch streamers do it. Alinity did it. Pokimane did it. Emaru did it. The greatest power a woman has is the ability to cry away any problem. I will leave True. you with the wise words of Magneto from the X-Men movies. Man, it is 100% true. The... The, the amount of guys that will come to the defense of any woman the second she starts crying, regardless of how, how whether she's the victim or not, is just insane. Mr. Lorio, never trust a beautiful woman, especially one who's interested in you. Based. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, I, I honestly, I kind of want, this is a year ago. I wonder, Amaranth... Uh, divorce. I did she ever end up getting divorced? Uh, split from her ex husband. Continues to make content. Uh, the Amaranth divorced from that guy, or uh, still no divorce records. No changes. To Amaranth as a whole. Uh. Yeah, so apparently she never got divorced. Police record has new details about Amaranth's volatile marriage. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, it seems like she uh, never ended up getting the divorce then. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. It, the whole thing seems so fucky to me. I'm not sure. Anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.